Hey guys, new update just came out. We got two new characters as well as some cards we're going to go over and there's some events. So we're just going to jump right into it. The first thing you're going to see is you're going to be able to select uh, either Lady Yasuro or Lady Billy here. Um, just pick whatever one you want. I think if you're a player that's been playing for a while, it's not going to matter that much to you. If you're brand new, I guess I'd recommend Lady Yasuro. They're both fine for different reasons. Although if you look at the 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 like their little power gauges there i think lady Bra uh billy's actually got a little bit more i think by like 2 19 or something don't fact check me on that just believe whatever i'm saying <laughs> but i like lady astro better it's a little more damage there so you pick whatever one you want to do your super missions for uh, also keep in mind whatever super mission you pick uh you're gonna be able to not only get the character but the super so for some reason you're getting a super for one of the characters you could just go for one of that uh, but really good stuff. You get hammers, you get uh, memories, uh, so that's really cool. It was a surprise that that was going to happen. I didn't know that was happening, at least. Another big one is the Lady Chang um, Roulette. Lady, Lady Chang's really good. I believe they're buffing her or just buffed her. Uh, I believe so. Uh, but she's pretty good as as is, and I think her her special is really good. I'm seeing, I mean, her leader skill where it buffs the lady fighters so go ahead and do that do watch the ads um but uh, i'm definitely gonna go for it i don't even think i have her super so that's gonna kind of be my goal um that's i've gotten quite a bit of memories for her although i'm not using it but i still just want her super just because i don't have it all right next up is the dice game i uh, just want to go through here do the missions get the dice and get extra rewards i like these and plus you get a really cute little uh lady boss mr big up there a little chippy style that's really cute that's like something you would see other mobile games used as like their uh in-game character you know like uh illusion connect or i don't know there's a bunch that have like little chippy things or like uh or, or ezra lane stuff like that you know that's what it reminds me of all right next we got two events here this one is a kind of rehashing of one that they've done in the past. Whenever it pops up. I always like this music. Anyway, so uh, you're, it's going to be a lot of stuff that you've seen before. You're going to want to go through the missions, do it on normal, hard, and then SP is going to come out in about a week. Uh, use the characters down here to get extra rewards. So if you've done this before, you probably have uh, this card here. Of course, you get any of the new characters in the new set, you'll get bonus as well. Um, so you can check out the rewards. They put you to the top! That's one of the things I asked them for last time. That's so funny. Um, yeah, because they normally start you at the bottom. How funny is that? Uh, so maybe they were listening to me. Oh my god. I, I don't think so, but maybe they just knew. Uh, so, uh, Fest Voucher up there, that's awesome. So go ahead and do that, and we're going to move on to the next one, so I'll show you that. So this one here is actually a co-op mission. You click on this, and you can either create game, join game, or enter a code if you want to play with somebody specifically. I think this is really fun. I can't show you it on Blue Sex because it will crash, So, but I ghetto recorded it on my iPad so you can kind of see me doing it. Uh, one thing I thought was interesting as I was playing it, as the guy I was playing with disconnected, yes, the guy, because he was the, like, the leader of the group, and he just started it without a third person. But he got disconnected, and uh, the, it kept the AI in there and just fought for him, which is nice, because this is on a mobile platform, and somebody's bound to DC, um, so it's nice that you still have a buddy, because if he disconnected and he didn't have a third person, that would have been all by myself. I would have been fine, but it's just nice to have. Uh, but th I think this is really cool. I enjoy playing with other people. So uh, maybe sometime I can play with one of you guys. So you can see me in there. MVP. <laughs> I need to be carried, bro. Okay, so we're going to talk about the new characters and the new cards. So as you can see, it's a separate banner. Um, this is all stuff that a lot of people have already know about, but I'm just going to go over it just in case you don't. Um, so it's a new banner, the special signature. It's kind of like the uh, boss, uh, boss Syndrome banner where it's like totally separate. 
Uh, but instead of the BS boys, it's the SS ladies. Um, so uh, it's Athena and Mai. So I'm going to go over both of these characters here. Uh, view rate. All right, so we're going to talk about Athena first. She's a purple defense type. Uh, and her leader is just fine. Increases purple element fighters attack by 45% and power charge rate by 20. Uh, this was that I thought was interesting. I just want to bring this up. So the relations. Uh, of course Mai is in there because she's part of this special signature thing. There's the KOF uh, All-Star Survey Rival. So I guess uh, Kyo was a rival to her. Uh, Mai, of course, won that survey. Uh, the survey I'm referring to is uh, they surveyed... Uh, which people should, or yeah, who should be the next, or should have a fest character? I voted for Mai. I know that she was gonna get one eventually, but I thought it was crazy that the most popular King of Fighters character did not have a fest version, uh, or like even a good version. They're like, they're just okay, but she's not like amazing, right? So that's why I voted for her, and I was glad that she won. But it's funny, the survey rival and then the annoying pacifist. That's a weird, that's a weird, and then this one, rival? And this is the kicker for me. It would have been nice if it was a panda. I don't know that reference other, I, I guess because he's a polar bear and she would have wanted it to be a panda, but that's such a weird uh, relation title. Anyways, I just thought I'd point that out for no reason in particular. So we're going to go over her chorus first. Uh, she has a 70% chance to resist or uh, reset cooldowns of the Psycho Ball attack upon landing Phoenix Arrow EX. That has a 15 second cooldown. 15 seconds, 12 seconds is like their go-to for like an okay cooldown amount for if they want you to use it a couple times. Uh, next part of that deals additional damage equal to 100% of attack upon the landing a crit hit on a target in the starlight and obviously she's gonna have the ability to do starlight so you'll see that in a second but her next one gains super armor for four seconds when attacked by an enemy in starlight so if they have starlight affected you gain super armor when you attacked by it so that's pretty cool uh, she gains one percent power every 0 0.3 seconds during special signature guard uh, decreases damage received by 70 percent for three seconds, when accumulated attacks received, guard included, reaches five times. That's a 20 second cooldown. Those cords are amazing. Um, I think this character is amazing. Uh, so their first skill uh, does Radiant, which is Starlight, plus uh, increases damage the, the, of the person receives by 15%. That's crazy. A dot plus damage, uh, uh, a damage decrease i'm sorry received you know uh and then it increases attack by 46 percent of defense for eight seconds all in one skill that's crazy they're getting dots they're getting their uh damage resistance down or their damage they're increasing their damage received by 50 percent and the attack and defense for next one increases attack by 35 percent for five seconds that's really high <laughs> it's not for that long but the percentage is high and decreases the damage received by 75% for 3 seconds. This is a strong character. Next one, and she's got hyper armor on her skill. Hyper armor and a 40% chance to reset the cooldown when using the skill. Can't be used while being attacked. Her skills are crazy, man. I think she's like one of the crazier, like... Her, every single one of her skills are like stacked, man. <laughs> So we'll look at what they look like. All right, here she is. Looking like she does in, uh, what, 13, I think? You can correct me if I'm wrong on that. I I'm It's late and I'm having a brain bar, but I think it's 13. Here's our Psyker Ball real quick. Goes really far. We'll do it again. This is definitely the best Athena by far. Ooh, dang. Let's cover some ground, boy. Isn't this fast? That's cool. A little teleport. Here's her. Uh, we'll go through her skinners, finishers. She's got a lot. Dang. Much love for Athena, huh? Uh, we'll go through her finishers, see what they look like here with her. I think her eyes are gigantic, man. They did a pretty good job of uh, adding 
what she looked like in her art in that game into here. She's got some huge eyes, fam. There you go. I would make a demonetized joke, but I don't think it would happen. <laughs> it's like a two second thing. Oh, this is actually an awesome uh, super. <laughs> Posing and spirit bombing. That's my favorite super of hers. Um, oh crap. Uh, oh, this one, right? I don't think I did this one. It was the super annoying one, <laughs> just because of the the event. All right, and this is her new one. If you haven't seen this, pretty freaking cool. Pretty cool. It reminds me of uh, Lady Maxima's, where she like goes up into the sky and then boom. And very similar, I feel. All right, here's the winner of the survey, the new Mai, looking pretty cool. Uh, with the, the back side of her. Normally they want to emphasize her front, if you know what I mean, but this time they did a little side back. It's kind of cool. Looking confident with her little ball tail thing. I don't even know what to call that. But anyways, she is a red attack type. Uh, her leader skill increases female fighters attack by 60% and decreases HP by 5%. I love this leader. I love leader skills like this where, uh, it just gives me a bunch of attack with a uh, archetype that's broad and then the you know a little bit of health missing is not that big of a deal so we're gonna look at our cores here a 50 percent chance to reset cooldowns of strike active skills upon landing she see cho no my you know i can't read i can barely read english of one of her moves <laughs> and the cooldown is 20 seconds and she gains freeze immunity because she hot, I guess. Uh, increases active skill damage dealt to burnt enemies by 50% and gains burn immunity. Because she's hot, I guess. <laughs> uh, and she has the special signature where it's the same thing as Athena's. They both share that. So we're going to go over her skills. She gains hyper armor and deals burn damage. Uh, and can be used while being attacked. That is awesome. Uh, high... Get moves where they gain hyper armor and can be used while uh, being attacked is really good. Uh, get out of jail free card move. Plus it burns them, which goes with their core. That's pretty good. Increases attack by 35% for 6 seconds. That's one more second than Athena's, I think. Applies Infernal Flame to the target. Um, and it just deals the extra damage and crit rate and defense. All kinds of stuff. It does all the things. <laughs> Uh, next one decreases damage received by 50% for 3 seconds and increases attack by 28% for 7 seconds upon landing a skill and decreases enemy power charge rate by 50% and a 70% chance to ignore the target's guard <laughs> upon landing the successful attack. Holy smokes! That card can do everything. So she's got two strike skills. So her core, that one that would reset the cooldown, can work with the first two, uh, not the third. That's fine, uh, but just keep that in mind. Her skills are great. I'm loving this character. Let's see what her skills look like. All right, here she is. Well, she looks awesome. She's got the little cherry blossoms falling around and the model looks great. Uh, so here is her first one. Pretty cool, it's standard my stuff. Um, here's the next one. Pretty awesome. Doesn't cover much ground, keeps you right there, but that's still good. That's a good one. Gets him pretty far. See that again. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool. Uh, we'll go over some of her finishers, especially the last one, of course. But here's the first one. Nice. Uh, here is number two. Big old ball of fire or ring of fire. Different song. My, my model looks great. <laughs> Alright, number three. This is her new one, I believe. Or four. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. Sometimes I try to avoid watching, like, everything so I could 
see it for the first time, you know, actually recording it. And uh, that one I did try to avoid someone to see that in person. Looked awesome. Um, with a little split screen. I want to see that one more time. Makes the cool symbol for that umbrella. The three pictures. Big explosion. That's awesome. Very cool. I feel like uh, specials like that too, that like zoom into the character, whenever there's multiple characters on screen, sometimes something hilarious happens. Like the character is doing something really weird. I love stuff like that. Overall, I think they're both great. Um, I think Athena might be a little better. Um, it, it can be tough to tell, especially just on paper without like really diving in and trying it out. But I guess just knee-jerk reaction, I'd probably say Athena might be a little better. But I would personally want my more, just because I'm not the biggest Athena fan. Uh, but if I was, it was going to be this one, because uh, she's amazing. But uh, Mai looks great, too, as far as her skills and everything. And I think she's a little bit more versatile as far as her like leader skill. So if you're starting out and you love both of these characters, um, I think they're great to go for. But I will say um, they're supposed to be a collab coming soon. Um, that's what I was to understand. I may be wrong on that, but uh, from what I was to understand in the uh, Korean um, live stream, um, they talked about that, but uh, you know, I don't speak Korean, uh, just very little. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you a little bit of the other characters that are also in this banner, because it is its own banner that it's not going to be connected to your others. So it's a lot of the lady characters um, a lot of them are pretty dang good as well, so it's not just uh, it's not just the two, of course. Uh, the fests that you're in here are gonna be great as well. Um, so any one of those would be good to have. Even the even some of these down here are great too. But the fest characters in here are good. They're all ladies. How funny! Uh, we're gonna talk about the cards really quick, and then we'll wrap it up because uh, it's only just a few cards to talk about. So we're going to go in here. So here is the new set. Um, so all the sets, its main stat increases defense. And then the actual set bonus increases attack equal to 50% of defense. 30% chance to deal additional damage equal to 180% of defense upon landing an active skill. Um, decreases damage received by 60% if defense type. Fighter's attack is 20% or less. Obviously, this is amazing for a defense uh, character. There's a few sets that are defense related. I like this one a lot because um, it's actively buffing your defense, um, increases the attack by a lot, extra attack on top of that. Uh, the artwork is pretty decent too. They reused uh, some of these art assets, but I still think it's pretty cool. Um, now we'll talk about. Uh, oh, and this is where you get their supers. So if you want this three tier Athena Super and this my one, which looks awesome, this is where you get them. You're going to want to do that. Uh, and if you don't, then you're going to miss out on it. <laughs> uh, so here is the option card. Uh, increases attack and uh, decreases skill, skill cooldowns, which is great. Um, this is a really good option card as far as that's concerned. And then the special one effect. Increases attack by 13% for 5 seconds and grants super armor for 2 seconds when tagging it. Uh, I think that's pretty good. It's 2 seconds is really short. So just for the first initial like thing that you do whenever you tag in. But the super armor is nice so you can just switch, tag in, gain super armor, hit somebody really hard. Um, I wouldn't break your back over um, getting some of these. This is going to be awfully expensive. Me personally... Um, I would recommend not doing this only because there's supposed to be a collab coming soon. So if you love these characters, you go ahead. Um, I don't want you to miss all these characters because of my stupid advice. Because then the collab might not even come out. <laughs> I think it probably will. But, um, uh, I think these characters will probably come back eventually to where the collab characters may never... So that's what I'm saving for. I'm still kind of working on that. I've been slacking. But uh, that's it for this video. I think the characters are great. Uh, I think the event is uh, cool. And the uh, little collab thing. Uh, Co-op mode is pretty fun. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. 
Thank you guys for watching. I wish you luck in your summons if you choose to go for them. Let me know how you did. I'm not going to go for them. I wish they were part of the regular banner like we all do. <laughs> uh, but, hey, you know, I don't know. Maybe it cost them a lot to make this happen. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. It just it is what it is. So, uh, But if you do get them, congratulations from me to you. And if you're just going for them and you haven't done it yet, I wish you luck. Thank you for watching again. God bless you, and you have a blessed day, y'all.